What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. Today we've got more, more card reveals. This time we're looking at three new Numeronius cards where I guess if you would watch the anime, right, the Zexal anime, you would know more about this than I do. I unfortunately never watched it, or maybe fortunately, depending on your opinions of the show itself. I haven't heard the best reviews from it. Uh, about it overall, but still, whatever, tweets their own. Uh, but we got new cards coming in the OCG's Pieces of Memories number collection. Apparently it's like a $200 set, but you just get like all the numbered monsters and some of them are in special rarities and cool stuff like that, but uh, interesting there. But anyway, we got new cards, let's get over it here. All right, starting off first, we have number C1000 Numeronius. This is a rank 12 light fiend XYZ effect monster with question mark attack and question mark defense. Its materials are five level 12 monsters. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a rank up monster to me. Once per turn is a quick effect. You can attach one exceed material from this card to destroy one monster on the field. Okay. Any monster face up or face down, quick effect. I like it, that's pretty good. Second effect, at the end of the battle phase, destroy all other monsters on the field. Then you can special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard in defense position. Also interesting, something that's interesting to note here is he has these question mark stats, but he doesn't have an effect here that changes his stats, so he's just going to be at zero. Um, so at least making it through your opponent's battle phase does not seem very likely, although you can pop a monster. so. Uh, you know, at least if you if your opponent's only able to put one monster on the field, you pop it. They can't clear them in the battle phase. You get to keep them around and, and wipe wipe monsters off the field potentially later in the duel. Okay, um, and then the last and also reborning an opponent's monster can actually be pretty clean. Take something out of their graveyard, which could have been a resource later on. Could steal something choice like a Pancratops, maybe that could be kind of cool. Like you know, random stuff like that that's just generic and you can use. But every once in a while, you'll be able to use stuff like that. But the last effect, if this card is in your monster zone uh, and is destroyed by an opponent's card effect while having a material and is sent to the graveyard, a lot of stipulations there, in your zone, opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon one number IC1000 Numeronius Numeronia from your, uh, from your extra deck and if you do attach this card to it as material. All right. Uh, crazy. I think it's a crazy card. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how easy it's going to be to rank up into something like this because it is uh, a level 12, uh, right? Because you're not going to be making this with five level 12s, actually. So, um, yeah, I'm curious how the easiest way to make this is. But it's an interesting card. It's not bad. It's a Dryden plus the ability to wipe, uh, wipe your opponent's monsters at the end of the battle phase. I don't think it's a terrible card, but it seems hard to make. Next up we have the boy we were just talking about at the end of that card. Number IC1000 Numeronius Numeronia. He's a rank 13 light fiend exceed effect monster. Obviously guys, uh, level 13s don't exist in the game so we're not making it that way. It has question mark for stats and its materials are 5 level 13 monsters. Again, you're not making that. My best guess is you're doing something along the lines of ranking up into him and then maybe ranking up into this or just keeping this in case your opponent does give you a way to summon it off of his third effect but still relies on the opponent, so I don't know why your opponent would ever let you do that. Whatever. If this card was special summoned by the effect of number C1000 Numeronius, it gains 100,000, 100,000 attack and defense during your opponent's turn only. Also begin applying the falling effects the next turn, uh, when the next turn begins after this card was special summoned. Uh, those, those effects read, each monster your opponent controls must attack this card if able. So if you're 100,000, 100,000, your opponent's not going to want to do that. Uh, also, when your opponent's turn ends, if this card has not battled that turn, you win the duel. <laughs> okay, so if you can just have him during your opponent's turn, keep him from dying, even if you didn't summon him. Oh, man. Although, does he only get these effects as well, only if it was summoned off of the C1000 Numeronius? I think so. I think this is all part of that effect. Uh, just keep him around for a turn and you win the duel. Don't let him battle. Uh, don't let your opponent get to battle phase with monsters that can clear him and uh, just kill him. So that's crazy. And the last effect, when your opponent's monster attacks, you can attach one material from this card, negate that attack, and if you do gain life points equal to that monster's attack. So you can also negate an attack so that this guy doesn't battle, right? Negating an attack does not count as a battle. So 
Uh, then you get to the end phase, and then you uh, you win the duel. So kind of a crazy win condition, but honestly, I don't think it gets any of these effects unless it's summoned off of this effect. And this effect requires so many things. It needs to be destroyed by your opponent's card while having material still. And if you ranked up, maybe you wouldn't have material if you like popped a card or two. And it has to be sent to grave, so obviously um, any kind of other removal like just makes it not work. So, yeah, a little bit too many stipulations for me, but still fun. I still think it's cool. Like, no, not not too crazy. And the last card here is Numeronius, or sorry, Numeron Chaos Ritual. It's a normal spell card, Chaos Ritual, but not a ritual spell. First effect reads, or I guess the only effect reads, during the turn, a face-up number C1 Numeron Chaos Gate Sunya. That's one of the Numeron cards we got in um, Toon Chaos, which is pretty cool. Um, you control was destroyed by a monster effect, specifically monster effect, and it can be your own. You could target one Numeron network and four number Exceed monsters in your possession that are banished or in the graveyard. Special summon one number C1000 Numeronius from your extra deck, but its attack becomes 10,000 and its defense becomes 1,000. Then attach those five targets to it as material. For the rest of the turn, you can only normal summon or special summon a monster or monsters once. Okay, so at least this gives us additional, so like, like I said earlier, this could be a rank up situation, but it seems like this is your card you're kind of looking for after you've already done some Numeron stuff and all your monsters have been either destroyed or banished or whatever, you can just summon them all back, right? Or I'm sorry, summon the C1000, Numeronius, put all of them under him, and then he becomes 10, becomes 10,000 attack and gets those quick effect pops. I actually don't think this card's that bad. It is a Numeron card. I'm actually thinking if potentially just playing like a copy of him with a copy of this could be choice because can't Numeron Network just send, or the field, is Numeron Network the field spell? I think it's the field spell and there's the other Numeron card that it sends, whatever. Uh, if the field spell can send this card to use its effect. Oh man, it, but it, a number C1000 has to be destroyed or a C1 Numeron Gate Sunya has to be destroyed by Monster Effect. I was going to say, if this just did it, it'd be kind of crazy. But unfortunately, it needs to be the same turn that a, a, a Sunya was destroyed uh, by a card effect, which is with a, by a Monster Effect. So I'm not sure how applicable that is, but I don't know. It's interesting, right? Like, um, <laughs> if you could potentially get a turn where Sunya is destroyed, obviously have gone through a bunch of gates before that happened and have them just all engrave or banished then you numeron network send this card to activate it right and then you kind of get into the c1000 numeronius he's a dryden he'd be 10,000 attack and at the end of the battle phase you can destroy all monsters on the field then take an opponent's monster I don't know, maybe it's a one of for the Numeron strategy, but I think this part right here, you have to wait for the Sunya beat to be destroyed by a monster effect. I think that's the part that's just a little bit too uh, not good enough for me, to be honest. But who knows, maybe maybe it is, maybe I'm just underselling it, but whatever. Um, that's just what I'm thinking. But those are the three new cards. I think they're really interesting. I think they're really cool. I don't think they have a ton of meta potential. I know this one's an alternate win condition in Yu-Gi-Oh, which we don't see very often. And it's cool to see, but it's it's too anime. Uh, like, honestly. It's just too anime. It's not going to be competitive anyway. But I could maybe see this and this maybe if it works out. Or maybe you play a build where you're able to pop your own Sunya pretty easily. Maybe you just play, you know what I mean? Maybe we just play this as a one of. And this is a one of to be able to get after you've already used, uh, done the Numeron shenanigans. And then just use it as like your follow up play. I don't know. It's a cool card though. Um, I think that I think the cards are awesome. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm missing anything. If there's any other ways to like rank up into this guy, because I actually do think he has potential. Um, or maybe this card works better than I think it does, or worse than I think it does here. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff from Jaboy in the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.